Hello, Scorpio, for the second time in a row because my husband came home from his lunch break right when I was finishing your reading up. What's your reading for? Well, it's for November, for this current year, which is 2018. Yay, and happy birthday, Scorpios. We are in your season, finally. Hopefully you've been being good, because, you know, if not, you're going to have to deal with that shit. But I assume that you guys are a lot more clear on what you're looking for. I feel like some of you are going to be totally in investigation mode, because Venus and Scorpio is like full-on learning some shit, dark secrets, such like that, right? Maybe something's going as well in work. Or maybe you're just having issues getting along with people, maybe. Tell you what, my husband came home right when I was reading your last three cards. It started, like, being a total distraction. <laughs> he was just like, look, I like this is just how I do. I just walked in the door. Just don't be mad at me. And I was just like, nah, babe, it's cool. Like, we've been together ten years now. If I get mad over that, I'm being ridiculous he's a Leo and that's just how Leos are. They just have to come in. Their presence must be acknowledged one way or another. Like they get your attention. I think that's why I like Leos so much because I don't have to do much for them to want to notice me. But it, just a little bit goes a long way with them and I love it. It's like so cute. Anyway, let's go on with your reading. I'm still doing personal readings too. For anyone who's interested, my email is in the description below along with other things. There's a Facebook as well that I've made, so I'll paste these videos up on there too. Amongst other things, and I, and I look for different sites for articles and shit. Also dealing with like the witchcraft and the practices and such, you know. Try to get something going, some action made, right? But once again, happy birthday, Scorpio. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this video without being interrupted this time. I feel like this music's way too loud, but I don't know. I'm gonna go turn it down really quick. That way you guys can hear me better. Okay, that's not as loud. So let's begin with yours. No whammies. Okay. So, let's just lay out these first ones, because I've been doing that for everybody, and it seems to work just as effective. There you are. You're afraid of yourself? That's kind of weird. And he was down there below before. Ew. Ew. Why? Seems like with the beginning thing, there are some secrets being kept. Someone isn't being forthright with something. There are things beyond knowledge that are going on in the background, possibly. Excuse me while I hydrate. Hmm. It seems like you're wanting to heal, or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius with a star. Maybe you're trying to replace one thing for another in order to see if it'll help. But there's also this whole, like, con man not acting like a real provider like you know the king of pentacles is usually provider this way but he's not being so much and it seems like it could deal with a relationship with someone because here's the queen could be a couple and like you know she's coming against some of y'all scorpios my just is a general reading so if it doesn't hit the mark no worries i got a queen of pentacles over here scorpio no, scorpio Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type, or at least their energy, and they lay underneath this Temperance card, which is Saturn, Sagittarius's card, right? The patience need for compromise, kind of like religious sex and belief, right? Like coming together as one order and like understanding one another. So that's not bad that that's upright. At least there's an, a, too much impatience going on, but over here this is. Queen of Swords, who's like, she's almost like the catalyst, I like to say, with these end ones of it all, and it's just kind of like, I think we're just going to start calling this catalyst instead of final result, because that seems more appropriate with all these. But there's like, a, a, she's scorned, she might be coming after this Queen of Pentacles over here, you know, so she might be aiming her sword at her, but there's definitely jealousy. 
there's definitely somebody not really sure they're being hypercritical while not really knowing what to do when it comes to possibly you, Scorpio, and you're afraid of that. That transformation, that change, that letting the old die so then you can begin. Excuse me while I hydrate. Now this is the secret, too. So there's an... And this uh, star could also be this Queen of Swords as well. Like, something came off with her, so now there needs to be healing on this side. Someone... Like, I don't feel as much as someone's playing a con man as much as they feel like... They con themselves? You know? If that makes sense? Like, maybe they were thinking of something better about themselves, and now they're trying to... Deal with that a little bit better than what they did, right? And this Queen of Pentacles is having a lot of patience, I feel like. You know, that's Sagittarian, that's Sagittarian energy. That's Sagittarius's card. But what's going against this is her patience. She's being kind. Like, she's doing a lot for people, and, she, and she's not going to complain out loud because she's the Queen of Pentacles. Like, she gets joy from being kind and helping out others, but she's kind of... I feel like wearing herself out thin. That could be... It doesn't have to be like an earth sign, but that could be somebody taking on the energy as well. Or maybe even the environment of what's going on, right? And like this Queen of Swords, this scorned person. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, which is why I say it might be the star, you know. It's kind of the catalyst of you being afraid of who you are, I feel like in some way Scorpio and if that's not it it might be a fear of change and it might not have to be you it could be somebody you're dealing with I think I might have got my camera in computer software fix. I just need to remember I can never ever edit any of these videos because like apparently that's what causes it to break. And I and I can't explain it right now, but I will explain it someday. But it's just like it's like there's not enough editing for the computer to like do its job, right? I'm just throwing that out there. Ooh, two cards just popped up. Um someone's being a little smug. Well, they're not really, you know, someone's kind of being smug in a situation that didn't... Ah. Uh, okay, this card could deal with luxury, identity, and I'll say that I like to say bougie right? Like someone's trying to live up a standard that they can't keep up with. And this could also mean like someone's losing their identity, they're gaining a loss, but they're holding some sort of smugness behind this curtain like they're acting like they're happy they're pretending that they're happy but in reality they're not being true to themselves i feel like entirely like i did your reading earlier this is kind of the same but not really like i feel like someone is acting like the queen of pentacles trying to fix themselves but it's 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 almost like it's going against who they are because they're afraid of who they really are or maybe they're afraid of being themselves because they aren't able to be the person they used to be. Or maybe they feel like the situation just isn't going to improve. And they're trying to have patience. But over here, here's this queen just coming to slice both of these motherfuckers' heads off. For stuff that happened back in the day. Not really stuff that's happening now. And they're all facing the past, too. Like, even the star. The star is looking at the past. The king's looking at the past and what he used to create. The queen's looking at the past and what she's given. And this woman's looking at the past thinking, like, why should I let you live after all of these transgressions? You know? And we're about to see what that is. No way, anyways. Okay. So, first slide. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Okay, so... Yeah, okay. Queen of, so Queen of Pentacles knows the truth about a King of Swords, huh? Ooh. 
but the ending theme being someone isn't weighing out their options when it comes to all this stuff that's in the background. That's being hidden away, right? Like, look at... Definitely could still be this Queen of Swords, but it might not be now. Because here's the Queen of Wands. But this page is so just kind of being paranoid. They feel like people are coming against them, and they could easily be an Aquarius with this, too. They might be trying to heal from that situation. And like I said before, this King of Pentacles is focused on the past. On what he could create, and now he just can't anymore. Like, the environment's backwards to him. He feels like a con. He feels like he can't accomplish anything. He feels like... Whatever he tried to provide for is no longer accessible, and he's just focused on the past, like I said earlier. And right here is temperance for somebody who's trying to, like, look over stuff. Maybe there's a little bit of regret over a, a, an opportunity that slipped away, or someone's just waiting for that opportunity to come up in some heartfelt situation. And temperance is working with two cups, too. So it could be these, it could be this, it could be this, it could be any of these two cups. So maybe that this is one of the cups that they were messing with being brought down. And maybe they're waiting for this Queen of Pentacles to come out with some sort of truth. Or to be swinging the sword at the King of Swords. Because that's what's going against, I, I believe, this air sign card right here. Both the air signs, I think. Like, someone's trying to heal from this person who's kind of acting like a spy for dirty reasons. And now someone has the truth about something, right? Like, this Queen of Pentacles is coming out as the King of Swords, willing the truth a little bit. Like, but I don't know if they're going to say anything. Like, because the Queen of Swords, like, the Queen of Pentacles, like, she minds her own business. You know. Earth signs tend to mind their business. They don't really get into the drama unless, you know... There's an involvement. And, and like, if she knows the truth, if she's willing the truth, and she's going to come out with it, there might be an issue with that that she feels that she needs to interfere. And if that's the case, boo. <laughs> there might be an earth side who knows something, and they might actually come out with that information because they feel like they need to interfere. And that's unusual for earth signs. Like, most of us don't want to be in the drama, we just want to know 99% of the information. That's all. We're just nosy, but we're not nosy to the point of wanting to get involved. But if, like, if it's that, it's like, ooh. Oh, no, pen. Please tell me. Okay, I didn't bend the tip. Oh, my God. I know. That's what she said. Ha, ha. But, like, I'm being serious. I don't want to bend the tip. Like, that would be disastrous for me. Sorry, I've been drinking up all my water. Skittle squish. My babes is like always thirsty, so she must be hydrated regularly. But yeah, like, like this Earth sign might know the truth about something and might be coming out with it, despite her own moral. Because look, her head is down. She's not paying attention to anything around her. She's just focused on what she can produce with her own hands and what she can give out. Not really even looking for her thanks, but it's weird that she wants to come out with the truth. Or maybe there's some truth about her. And mind you, somebody could be carrying this, or this could just be the environment. Like, someone's just patiently waiting for someone to come just so they can, like, shazam, turn their pentacle suddenly into a sore, like a Lance Burton magic skit, and then just start cutting the head off and be like, you are full of shit, you know? And someone's got patience waiting for this opportunity to arrive. Too, I feel. I, th I think that's what that is too. Someone's being patient and waiting <laughs> to deliver um, this. I feel like. like that's what you're wanting. But this is what's going against it. <laughs> then we have the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, which could also be Sagittarius up here too. Um, coming off, you know, she knows some things, but she doesn't really have to say much. She's got a little kitty cat, as always, but, like, she's definitely being driven by the Queen of Swords. Someone who is definitely, definitely, um, ah, getting shuffled around with my fingertips. Who is, um, definitely scorned and is being hypercritical. It isn't being too terribly kind. It's, like...
Mm. It's like this is it's almost like rising sign versus your actual zodiac, right? Um, with your rising sign, it's how people view you, whereas with your zodiac sign, that's what you actually are. Like, my rising sign is Sagittarius, but my sun sign is a Capricorn, so when people meet me, they automatically think, oh, she's a Sagittarius, but I'm not a Sagittarius. I am a Capricorn. I disappear as a Sagittarius to people until they get to know me, right? And that's almost what I feel like. I feel like this is the mask, and this is who they truly are underneath the smile. Like, she's not lying, but she's not coming out with, um, everything. I, 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 like, it's not an omission. It's not like a lie. It's not an omission. It's like, it's like a dog and pony show when people are around. Like, um, like, I once had this one Sagittarius friend who, uh, well, I thought she was a friend, but all she ever referred to him as was company. And it kind of feels like that. Like, this is like how she, this Queen of Wands energy is like. It's like, this is the face for company. This is what I'm really like behind closed doors, almost. And that makes someone afraid to win a victory to change things and almost be yourself, Scorpio. If any of that makes sense, because like I feel like I was going really into it, but I don't know if it's dramatic enough. <laughs> but it's like, geez, it's like like I feel like someone's really trying to figure out how to work out an opportunity, and they're really trying to get patience for it. But it's like it's almost like there isn't enough time. Like, someone's really trying to figure out what they want. Like, are you afraid that, like, this Queen of Swords who's coming with this King of... Or this Queen of Pentacles, my bad. Coming with this King of Swords energy is going to cause a change in you that'll lead you to victory? Because there is a fear of um, people coming against you and you're trying to get over that despite the fact that you have like a lot of memories set in what you used to be. Which I would say I wouldn't give a shit too much about what other people think of you because honestly like everyone's opinion's shit. You know. Here's the wheel of fate turning so like you don't have to expect this for much longer. All this confusion and all this feeling paranoid. Like, also Sagittarius energy. You guys always have Sagittarius. I swear. It's always in your readings with me, and I don't know why. And here we got Disappointment right here <laughs> with a page in Pentacle Reverse. I feel like... Okay, so maybe this queen has information. Maybe this queen is a person, right? But whatever information she has, it's not going to be helpful. Which would be ironic, because that could be from me, too. But, you know. Just in case there's another one around, or you're dealing with an Earth sign on some scale, I feel like whatever they're going to offer up is just going to end up being disappointing. Like, the wheel is still going forward, but there's going to be disappointments with it, right? Like, definitely not... I mean, it could be a kid, too. It could be somebody offering nothing but disappointment. On purpose, I feel like, because because it, it's almost like that wait for the opportunity and having the patience for it. Um, it seems like the truth would just almost break that, and that's what the disappointment is. Oh, last card, Scorpio. Take some time to figure yourself out, says the Hermit. That could be who these Earth signs are as well, Virgo since that's Virgo's card. But yeah, this is like isolate yourself a little bit. Not to like bad standards, but like to figure your own self out and to figure out who you want to be. Do you want to be who you are? Or do you want to keep getting disappointed? So I will see you Scorpios later and I will... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.